What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. I've got a couple series going on right now, so I might as well throw another one in there. From the title, that's what it's going to be. The Bible is the Black Folks History Book. You understand? I might change it a little bit. It might be a little different by the time I post this. But the Bible is the Black Folks History Book. I'm going to start off with the beginning of it. Genesis. The Proving, man. Listen, I'm not concerned about the views or whatever I get on this or whatever they label it. Because one thing you cannot argue with, if you know how to read it right, it's the Holy Word itself. I went to the University of Louisville, which is known as the School of Science. They take science very seriously there. So I don't throw out hypotheses and myths and things of that nature. I put solid, foundational research behind what I got to turn my theories into a fact. They say anthropologists have already proven the human race, civilization began in Africa, right? So in the Bible, when they talk about the first man and woman, scientists already told you civilization in the human race began in Africa. Wouldn't Adam and Eve be Nubian? Wouldn't they be black? Huh? You still don't believe me, right? Even though it's right here in front of you. you your mind is so blinded by what the slave master told you with the Negro Bible and removing pieces out of there, you still lost. Too many black people ready to throw their whole history book in the window. Just throw it out the window. Huh? Because they don't know how to read it. Let me give you another name. Nimrod. You know who Nimrod was? Nimrod is the son of Cush. Cush is the son of Ham. And the slave master already told us Ham was black, right? Expose that part truth. That partial truth, excuse me, like I told y'all before. Instead of telling y'all that all three sons of Noah was black, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, Noah was black himself, a direct descendant of who? Adam and Eve. Common sense going to tell you that Adam and Eve were Nubian, black, not white. Because you can what? You can get white from black, but you cannot get black from white. And scientists already told you the civilization started in Africa. The first human being was discovered in Africa. So Adam and Eve have to be African. Nimrod, son of Cush, grandson of Ham, great-grandson of Noah, was the ruler of where? The Tower of Babel. Nimrod, yes. And they tell you at the Tower of Babel, everyone spoke one language, one speech, one custom under one tower, right? God and his angels looked down and said, look at them. They're trying to build a tower up to us. God said, let's go down there, knock down that tower of Babel and put them in different languages and different speeches. That's when you have the Nubian black man from Nimrod and you have the different races beginning, the different nationalities. Because at Babel, ruled by Nimrod, the grandson of Ham, the great-grandson of Noah, was under one language, one speech. God knocked that tower down and put us to different languages, different speeches. That's when our skin became different colors because we started traveling around the world. But before then, it was right there, right there. One language. Look it up for yourself. And you still don't know who you are? It's right there in the Holy Bible. It's right there in the Torah. It's right there in the Quran. If you know how to look for us and recognize us and not be fooled by the media of anybody giving you propaganda, hiding the truth from you, these are facts, ladies and gentlemen. They can't hide it from you any longer. If Nimrod, grand, I'm going to say it again, yeah. If Nimrod, grandson of Ham, and the slave man told you Ham was black, but Nimrod was the ruler of all the world. 
the Tower of Babel, where everybody spoke one language, one speech, what were everybody up under that tower before that language was knocked out and moved to different languages? Before that one speech was knocked out to move to different species? That means it was all Nubian. Just like anthropologists have told you, everyone at the beginning was civilized in Africa and dispersed. That dispersion is described in Genesis at the Tower of Babel. Ain't fool with y'all anymore, man. Thank you for tuning in. God bless one team. God says our people perish through the lack of knowledge. He's talking about you. You don't know who you are.